All right, welcome back. Um, today we're going to start talking about YouTube. We're beginning with Ho Jose Van Dijk's uh, YouTube Beyond Technology and Cultural Form. Um, this is a reading that's decidedly um, contrasted against Thursday's reading. Um, and I really want you to um, be putting these readings in dialogue with, with one another. So as you're reading them, or as you're reading Thursday's reading, um, the Kinkle reading, I don't want you to just like dump your memory of this. I want you to have this in your mind as you're reading that, as well as um, a New York Times article about the YouTube, about, you, about the YouTube that I'll probably be sharing. Um, there are only two real key points that I want to, to bring out. And one is um, the way that, that uh, Van Van Dijk um, kind of synthesizes Raymond Williams. And it's specifically this idea of the nuanced model of thinking. And that would be my sort of challenge or proposition to you is to ask yourself, um, uh, am I a nuanced thinker? Um, how nuanced is my model of thinking? Um, what are the things that we talk about, you know, and, and think about? Um, and what are the things that, you know, as, as, as we've kind of consistently done, and especially in, you know, I want you to think about that when you're doing the Kinkle reading. What about, what are the things that we don't talk about, we don't think about? Um, and do we only think about um, the things, so I would put it that way, it's like, Think of it almost like a proximity thing. Do I only think about the things that are immediately available to me and immediately visible to me? And if it's not clear, that kind of metaphor also extends to research, right? Do I only Google, only look at the things that I already look at? Do I even go across the room over there? There's a bookshelf, right? Do I go look at those books? Do I go to the library? Do I go even further? You know, that's the kind of thing that, that you know, and, and, you know, just whether it's YouTube, Netflix, what are the things that are immediately available to me? It's the interface. It's, it's the content that I access. What are all the other things that I don't see, right? And again, uh, as we've said before, what are the things that we both actively and passively ignore, right, or look away from, right? Two, um, we'll talk about this in a second, but, you know, YouTube... Uh, this is a f this even this book is a few years old at this point, but this is a, a, a massive, massive, enormous platform, right? And uh, for Vadi, ultimately, this gets down to advertising. If you're reading carefully and reading closely, it entirely gets to advertising. It's about advertising. Now, just to kind of add. For Van Dee, what he's trying to do is he's trying to take the theory of Raymond Williams and sort of adapt it so that we have a way to more sophisticatedly talk about, you know, new phenomenon so that we can affect real change. The other way to put it is that the ways that we talk about things already is not working. That's the basic premise. And in order to, to instantiate new paradigms that will affect economics and culture we have to talk about it more nuanced in a more nuanced fashion and more sophisticatedly it's not enough the way that we're talking about it now on the other end as far as the platform itself is concerned ultimately it comes down to advertising revenue advertising and revenue and advertising revenue it's again about money um, that's not the way we talk about it. You know, that's not the way that, that the YouTube executive um, Kinkle that we'll read on Thursday is going to talk about it. You know, why is it that we, we constantly want to act as if it's not about money, right? That's another big question. Like, why, why, like, why are we lying to each other constantly and acting as if, it, as if all this stuff isn't really about money at the end of the day? Um, and that's kind of the big thing that we, we are faced with today. Okay, so moving on.